वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश ट्वेंटी एट सो स्टेटमेंट इज द जॉइस्ट ए बी यूज इन हाउसिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन इज टू बी मेड फ्रॉम एट इंच बाय फिफ्टीन इंच साउदर्न पाइन बोर्ड इफ द डिजाइन लोडिंग ऑन ईच बोर्ड इज प्लेस्ड एज शोन डिटरमाइन द लार्जेस्ट रूम विद एल दैट कैन दैट द बोर्ड कैन स्पेन द अलावेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस फॉर वुड इज टू के एस आई एंड अलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज वन एटी पी एस आई assume that the beam is simply supported from the wall at a and b so you can see this is the beam that is made of a uh, uh, southern pine board and that is supported at point a and b that will be act as a simply supported beam the loading on each point is given as 150 pounds so you have to find the length l that can be supported by this beam so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this support at point a and b so definitely you will be having a reaction force which is represented as r a and here you will have a re reaction force which is r b i have drawn the free body diagram over here so first we will find this r a and r b b by using equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point b the first moment is r a into perpendicular distance is this l and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative the second moment will be 150 into perpendicular distance is this one which is l by 4 plus l by 4 plus l by 4 and it is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive the third moment is due to 150 into perpendicular distance this distance is l by 2 and this is also counter clockwise so it will be positive the last moment will be due to this 150 and the perpendicular distance is l by 4 so i will write it minus r a into perpendicular distance is l plus 150 into 3 l by 4 clear you can just confirm it l by 4 plus l by 4 plus l by 4 is equal to 3 l by 4 plus 150 into l by 2 clear because l by 4 plus l by 4 is equal to 2 l by 4 which is equal to l by 2 Plus one fifty into perpendicular distance is l by four. Their sum must be equal to zero. So when you solve it, you will get R A will be equal to two twenty five pounds. Two twenty five pounds. Now this is your R A. You can find R B by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero. so total five forces r a plus r b minus 150 minus 150 minus 150 which is minus 450 so r a uh, 550 uh, 4 550 r a plus r b minus 450 is equal to 0 so r a is again 225 plus rb minus 450 is equal to 0 so it means that you have rb is also equal to 225 pounds now you have both ra and rb so you can just uh, draw the shear force and bending moment diagram to get the maximum shear force and maximum bending moment for that you have to draw the vertical line from the end of this beam and if you draw the shear force over here this is the length of the beam that will be that will represent x and here you have you will be having shear force v let each division is of 100 so 100 this is 200 this is 300 similarly this is minus 100 minus 200 and minus 300 and unit will be in pounds 
okay so at first point a we have r a which is equal to 225 so we will plot 225 so 225 let this is the 225 now moving from point a till this 150 you have 200 clear now you can see at point b we have minus 150 load so 200 minus 150 will equal to 75 so it will change to shear force will change to 75 let 75 is this point this is 75 now moving from 75 till 150 load there is no shear force so it will remain same and at this point you have a load of minus 150 so 75 minus 150 is equal to minus 75 so shear force will change to minus 75 so it will change to this point okay now again moving from this minus 75 till this point so you have no other load so shear force will remain same and at this point you have minus 150 so minus 75 minus 150 is equal to minus 225 so shear force will change to 225 it will here and again there is no other force so it will remain same and at this point b you have plus 225 so it will go to the zero so this is your shear force diagram and this is minus 225 now we will draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram i will draw horizontal line and we have moment clear x will be representing the length so first area which is this one you can see 200 225 multiply by uh, this length which is l by 4 so 225 multiplied by l by 4 will give you 56.25 l so this is 225 not 200 225 so let each division is of uh, 50 clear so this will be 100 so first is 56.25 so let's say this is the point now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be this so this point is 56.25 l so we'll join them now second area is this area which is equal to 75 multiplied by l by 4 and that is equal to 18.75 clear so 56.2 l plus 18.75 l will be equal to 75 l so next point will be our 75 so let 75 is this one at the mid this is 75 and you will get the bending moment over here this is 75 l now third area is this area and this area is same but this will be minus 18.75 so 75 l minus 18.75 l will again bring it to 56.25 l and the slope will be decreasing why because the area under the shear force diagram is uh, negative one so slope will be decreasing and the last area is this 220 minus 225 into minus 225 into l by 4 which is again equal to minus 56.25 so this point is 56.25 l so this area mine is minus 56.25 l their sum must be equal to zero and you will get the bending moment at here zero so now from this bending moment diagram i will write from shear force and bending moment diagram you have maximum shear force absolute maximum shear force is equal to 225 pounds you can check that this maximum and absolute value is plus and maximum bending moment is equal to 75 
multiply by L. This is the maximum bending one. So we will use this first. We will check uh, shear. So check shear for we will see that whether this maximum shear force does not exceed the maximum shearing stress. So we know that maximum shearing stress for rectangular cross section is 1.5 time V, which is shear force divided by area. So this is the rectangular section. The width is height is 8 inch and width is 1.5 inch so this is 1.5 inch and this height is 8 inch so area is equal to 8 multiplied by 1.5 clear shear force is 225 so when you put 8 1.5 multiply by 225 divide by area which is 8 multiplied by 1.5 so you will get maximum sharing stress come out to be 28.1 psi now your maximum sharing stress due to this loading is less than allowable sharing stress because allowable is given as 180 psi so I 28.1 PSI is less than 180 PSI. So this load is okay. Now we will find for bending mo moment. So for bending moment, for bending moment, we know that allow, uh, maximum bending stress which is allowable is equal to maximum bending moment into C divided by I. So that is equal to maximum bending moment is equal to I divided by C. And this I divided by C is represented as section modulus S. So we will find section modulus S as S is equal to I divided by C. So I for this cross section is equal to 1 over 12. Base is 1.5 and height is 8 Q. Clear that is equal to 64 inch 4. And what about C? So C is the half of 8. Because C is distance from neutral axis till the topmost. This is your C. And this C is equal to 4 inch. So divide by 4. So this section modulus S comes out to be 16 inch cube. Now you have this S and maximum bending moment. So we know that allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment divided by S. So maximum bending moment is 75 L. So 75 L divided by 16 is equal to allowable stress. So allowable stress is 2 KSI. So you will put the value 2 KSI. So 2 into 10 raised to power 3. Okay. So it means that 75 L is equal to 16 multiply by 2000. So from here you will get length is equal to 35.6 feet. Okay. Uh, so this answer will be in inches but you have to multiply this 75 l with 12 as well because the stress is in 2 into 10 raised to power 3 that will be pound per square inch clear so when you multiply length, this length will be in inch so when you multiply it with 12 you will get l is equal to 35 point 5 35.5 5 or 35.6 feet so this was all about uh, problem 11.28 i hope you have enjoyed this video 
those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching